So we all use operating systems in our life and generally we also know the names of some operating systems like the Mac OS, Windows, Linux distros like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. But the basis of these operating systems is another operating system from the 1960s. It's the Unix operating system. The origins of Unix date back to the mid-1960s when the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Bell Labs and General Electric were developing Multix, a time-sharing operating system for the GE645 mainframe computer. Multix featured several innovations but also presented several problems. Frustrated by the size and complexity of Multix, but not by its goals, individual researchers at Bell Labs started withdrawing from the project. The last to leave were Ken Thompson, Dennis Ritchie, and two others, who decided to re-implement their experiences in a new project of smaller scale. This new operating system was initially without organizational backing and also without a name. The new operating system was a single tasking system. In 1970, the group coined the name Unix for Uniplexed Information and Computing Service as a pun on Multix, which stood for Multiplexed Information and Computer Services. Unix was originally meant to be a convenient platform for programmers developing software to be run on it and on other systems rather than for non-programmers. The system grew larger as the operating system started appearing in academic circles, as users added their own tools to the system and shared them with colleagues. At first, Unix was not designed to be portable or multitasking. Later, Unix gradually gained portability, multitasking, and multi-user capabilities in a time-sharing configuration. The operating system was originally written in assembly language, but in 1973, version 4 Unix was rewritten in C. During the late 1970s and the early 1980s, the influence of Unix in academic circles led to large-scale adoption of Unix by commercial startups, including, including Microsoft Xenix, IBM AIX, and Sun Microsystems Solaris. AT&T licensed Unix to outside parties in the late 1970s. In 2000, Apple released Darwin, also a Unix system, which became the core of the Mac OS operating system, which was later renamed to Mac OS X. In a 1999 interview, Dennis Ritchie voiced his opinion that Linux and BSD operating systems are a continuation of the basis of the Unix design and are derivatives of Unix. In his own words, quote, I think the Linux phenomenon is quite delightful because it draws so strongly on the basis that Unix provided. Linux seems to be among the healthiest of the direct Unix derivatives, though there are also the various BSD systems as well as the more official offerings from the workstation and mainframe manufacturers. Quote end. The present owner of the trademark Unix is the Open Group, an industry standards consortium. Only systems fully compliant with and certified to the single Unix specification qualify as Unix. Others are called Unix-like operating systems. So hope you guys like this video and please consider subscribing to my channel. So I'm MFZ from The Handlers and I'm signing out.